Hello my dear friends and welcome back to my YouTube channel this time I will be teaching you uh, week 27 day 1 of 1100 words you need to know and let me show you the flashcards here before starting uh, pinnacle means peak acme zenith apex and uh, array a selection <coughs> or arrangement uh, or group of something collection obscure unclear lowly uh, nebulous ardent eager enthusiastic culminate to reach the highest point actually to develop to end conclude usually with an upward trend okay so let me zoom in okay music uh, the title is the topic is a musical world music reached its pinnacle in the 19th century it means that it was in the 19th century that music uh, or the business of music became really successful every leading nation produced its share of great composers leading means developed pioneering nation produce its share of great composers composers such as Beethoven Mozart uh, great musicians who composed music it means wrote music or write music in the present tense and then actually even uh, lead or conduct orchestras there was a bewildering array of national schools and musical styles as the once obscure musician came into his own. There is an idiom here, come into one's own, means to become independent again, to become in authority again. There was a bewildering, means confusing perplexing selection or array of uh, national schools and musical styles as the once obscure musician came into his own after a while then once here means once upon a time you know in the past it refers to the past it means actually in the past uh, the musician was uh, obscure obscure it means unclear but after a while actually music got or regained its authority or significance there was a gap okay by the way if you have any question also you can just use the comment form leave your questions on llb society or even actually on my youtube channel and make sure that i will get back to you as soon as possible Music became a widespread and democratic art. Uh, it came, as a matter of fact, it came into its own. It means it regained its independence. Widespread, prevalent, ubiquitous, everywhere, and democratic art. The ardent music lover turned to Vienna as the music center at the beginning of the 19th century ardent means enthusiastic zealous eager a music lover or fan turned to Vienna in Austria as the music center at the beginning of or at the outset of at the start of the 19th century However, Paris was not far behind. So Paris was also another music center 
apart from piano, especially in the field of operatic music. Operatic is the adjective form of opera, okay, which is a genre of music. Uh, okay, as the center, uh, I'm sorry, century progressed, pay attention, progress is the verb, progress is the noun. So as the century just progressed, we stepped into the century, I mean 19th century. <coughs> okay. Uh, the Germans became paramount. Paramount means uh, significant, great, in orchestral and symphonic music. Uh, so instead of uh, French musicians and uh, musicians in Austria and Vienna, German musicians just uh, overtook the other musicians. The growth of German music can be said to have culminated with Ludwig van Beethoven. The growth or development of German music can be said is supposed to have culminated, means to uh, reach the ultimate, uh, let's say, growth or rise or increase uh, with the presence of Beethoven. And I forgot to show you the uh, flashcards. Let me show you them. Uh, yes, some of them actually that are hmm, not here. This is century, a period of time equaling 100 years, array, obscure, ardent, and paramount means most important adored let's say okay culminate ray pinnacle hardened transient short-lived having a temporary duration not lasting imper uh, impermanent and summit means the same as pinnacle Keen, enthusiastic, eager. Break the ice means to start doing something, something that is rather uh, somehow formidable or frightening. So when you uh, take the first step. Okay. So, the sentences. Pay attention, we are focusing on week 27, day 1. The president faced an imposing array of reporters. Imposing means uh, somehow forceful uh, array or selection or collection of reporters. The party will culminate with the award for the most original costume. Will culminate with means end with the award prize for the most original costume set of clothes or clothing. It's not custom. Custom doesn't have an E at the end. The pinnacle of fame and success is often a transient stage. The acme or apex or peak of fame and celebrity and prominence and success is often a transient, short-lived, ephemeral, evanescent stage or period or phase. 
The ardent baseball fan went to every home game. Ardent means a passionate supporter. Baseball fan went to every home game. What is a home game? A game that is played in in a team's own stadium. It means that, for example, Manchester United, when uh, this uh, team plays with another team uh, inside the uh, Manchester United uh, stadium. This is a home game for Manchester United. Okay. So, number five space telescopes are making our obscure planets uh, ever clearer. So, space telescopes are making our obscure, means not clear, planets. For example, Mars, Jupiter, Venus, Mercury, Neptune, and so on, Saturn. So, uh, they are not very clear to us, but with the help of uh, uh, those uh, telescopes, I mean, space telescopes, we are able to observe them clearly to break the ice to make a beginning to overcome stiffness between strangers to set the ball rolling to initiate a conversation to start a small talk all after dinner speakers break the ice by telling a joke, telling a story or a joke or cracking a joke at the start of their speeches. After dinner speakers, it refers to a seminar or conference, uh, in my idea, perhaps, because actually there is a gap or break in between uh, in which the attendees go to their lunch room for example or dinner room or dining room let's say dining room and then after a while actually they get back maybe because actually uh, it says the speeches and speakers so it must be so and this is a technique you know if you want to just uh, even handle your own stress and create a more friendly atmosphere if you want to give a lecture it's better to just uh, crack a joke but you need to um, just uh, figure out or bear in mind the formality of the atmosphere so your actually sense of humor should not be too extreme all right i hope you enjoyed this vocab lesson please subscribe to my youtube channel and uh, because i'm going to cover this a great course book 1100 words you need to know uh, including all of the lessons so uh, make sure you won't miss any any one of them so just subscribe to my youtube channel and also on LELB society for example you can uh, leave your questions here in the comment form and for example you, you in in this uh, post you see a lot of comments so you can do the same thing you don't need to create an account you can use even uh, leave your questions as a guest so all right i hope you enjoyed this unit and take care of yourself and bye bye